look who's here. Lori is here, Jill and Dolores and Andrea. Say hello, Maya, where are you going? Welcome everybody. Today we are doing a live uh, 30, did we say 30? 35. <laughs> 30 minute full body kettlebell athlete today. Kai, can you say hi? Okay, so let's see, Naomi is here, Lauren is here, Paula is here, Linda, Mariah, Carmela, hey everybody, okay, all right, so we're going to do a 30 minute workout, I can't hang out very long after the workout because where are we going today? Where are we going? Pumpkin, Pumpkin patch, of course it's raining in Los Angeles, it rains like twice a year and it rains on the day, we're going to the pumpkin patch. But we're going anyway. All right, we're going to get a 30-minute kettlebell. All right, bye, kids. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Make sure, hey, I, 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 out, out, out. Take the dog. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry, Maya was pouting a little bit today. Betsy, I'm so glad that you made it as well. Megan is here. Sandra, yay. Sandra in Kentucky. Melanie from Washington, one of the newest members of our BodyFit Athletic Club, which we are so excited about. In case you missed it, guys, yesterday we launched on our new platform for the BodyFit Athletic Club. We are still kind of on Facebook, but we're moving everything to our website. And then in just a few weeks, we will also have the BodyFit by Amy app. So if you want to be a part of the Athletic Club, don't worry, you don't have to be on Facebook anymore. We are transitioning over and it's been fun. We have tons of new members. So I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. And again, I don't have um, a ton of time today, so we're gonna get right into the workout and then we are going to have a few minutes to chat. Tiffany all the way from New York, she is ready. Let's see, Jennifer is here in Chino. All right, team Tamika is here, great. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's start moving our bodies. Make sure you have your kettlebells. Make sure you have some water. Woo, here we go. Let's see, Ava says it's sunny, but now dark in Rome. Beautiful, oh my goodness. Hope to get there someday. Hey, Natalie from Brisk, Minnesota. All right, Tiffany and her mom are ready for kettlebell. Jocelyn is here, first live workout in months. I love seeing all of you here, including a lot of our BAC members. Woo! Paula says wind advisory in New Mexico. Oh my goodness. Ha! Huh. Let's see, roll those shoulders right through here. So go ahead and open those arms up here. So if you were here for dumbbell athlete or if you did our, whoo, pull those knees in. Total body athlete first workout of our athlete 2.0 challenge, then you kind of know our format. Let's take it side to side. Just shift your weight. Can you turn on that timer? Thank you. Uh, so you know our format. We're gonna start with some strength. Let's walk those feet in flat back down. Then we may get strength two times, an upper and a lower or something we combine in a compound for endurance. So strength, strength, endurance. Then we have power. Take it right here, roll those shoulders. We'll get a little bit of power. I'll give you, of course, lots of options. Then we're gonna get a core move to break it up then some agility, and we'll finish with some mobility. Take your hands right here, standing cat-cow. Try to move through the spine and really try to work through that lower lumbar spine that gets so tight, right? Round it up. And here, yes. Let's bring it up to those eyes, Y's, and T. Open up for that mobility, whoo. Breathe, hello from Mexico, welcome, Fairco. Yes. Let's get one more. And then we're gonna squat and hinge. So take it to a squat. Take it to a hinge right through here. Take it down. Yes. Two more just like that. Make them different. Remember the hinge, we drive the hips to the back. Woo, that feels good. And here, try to hold it here, either hands on the ground or hands on your legs. Pedal those feet, balance if you need it. And we're just gonna walk it back into that high plank. So take it back. If that's not right for you, then I want you to take it to the knees or stay up top and then take it nice and wide and bring it up. So you're just gonna walk it back like that. So we're just gonna get that core fired up and ready to go. And we're gonna get that hip opener and working through the spine as well. 
right through here and bring it up. Let's get one more. Walk it back, walk it in and bring it up. Woo. Round it up through here. I think we'll tap out and reach. All right, let's jump right into that cardio mobility to get our muscles fired up, ready to go. All right, so let's take it right here. Woo. Hello from BCN. I actually don't know what that stands for, so you tell me. Ah, whew. Breathe, let's take it back here. Ah, hamstrings up, cross those arms in front. Paula got a good deal on Amazon for kettlebells. Great, yeah, be on the lookout for those. Hands up right here. So working with our kettlebell today, if you don't have kettlebells, you of course can use a dumbbell. And of course, if you have options, Keep them close by, we'll incorporate some swings. We always wanna go a little heavier on those if we can. But you know what I always say, be where you are today. So wherever you are in your journey, wherever you are today, let's take it here low impact or high impact if you wanna take it for some jacks, catch your breath, Whew, gotta fix my ponytail. Wherever you are is exactly where you should be. I'm gonna give you options. This is your workout. Oh man, Elizabeth is watching the Penn State Michigan game. You know who else is? My husband. He has one computer that he's watching me do this and monitoring, and he has another with the Mich or has the TV with the Michigan game and some kids to watch and all of that. Oh man. <laughs> all right, team. So go ahead and check everything out. Elizabeth, are you a Penn State fan? Because we're big Michigan fans over here. All right, start with that kettlebell. Here is what we are starting with, team. So we're going to take it to a side lunge and then a squat. Side lunge and then a squat. So you can have that kettlebell low, you can have it here, or you can switch between the two. We are gonna get that clean a little later that I just did, right? Uh, so we can keep it low the whole time if you want. We got 40 seconds, side lunge and squat. Make them different, roll those shoulders back, zip up that core, remember even as we Hinge forward in that side lunge. We're keeping the shoulders pulled back. Let's get it done. 40 seconds, side lunge, squat. Three, two, one, here we go. Down, sit low, down, and low. Take it down. So remember, you're getting low on both, but the side lunge, we're shifting our weight to that opposite side. You do not have to go the same speed as me. You can take it a little slower. Can even take it faster as long as you have good form, right? Whoo! Oh no, Heather Buckeye fans, uh-oh. Ohio State there, big rival from Michigan. Three, two, one, and relax. Ha, ah, shake it out. Ooh, feeling that today. All right, so we're gonna take it to a bicep curl. We're gonna go press up. Press out, bicep curl, press up, press out. So a lot of things working, zip up that core, kettlebell in the front, here we go. Curl, press up, press out, back down. You can stagger if you need to, curl, up, out, yes. Curl, up, out, boom. Oh. Know why this kettlebell is feeling super heavy to me day, today. That's just where I am today. If you're in that place, remember that press out is a little, what we call like a heartbeat press. You do not have to go all the way out, just a little bit and up. Here we go, one more curl, press up, press out. All right, those are our strength rounds. Now we're getting our endurance rounds, so muscle endurance and cardiovascular endurance. Here is what it looks like, team. So we're gonna go sit low in that side lunge, Clean, squat, curl. Take it down, clean, squat, and curl. No press yet, because that's coming with power. Here we go, three, two, one. Side lunge, here, squat, and curl. If the clean is not right for you, watch me. Side lunge, take it low, curl it here as you come up. Down, squat, and curl. You can just pull it up just like I did here. You don't have to, that's actually a modified clean, right? 
down. Oh, did I mention that this round is a full minute down here? Whoo! I'm feeling it. Curl at the bottom. Take your time, coming up. Side lunge, shift your weight. Yes. Whew. 10 seconds. And up. Breathe. Last one. Boom. Relax. Oh, man. So see why we call that both muscle endurance, feeling it, and cardiovascular endurance. Heart rate is up. Whew. That's why we don't have a cardio on this because we're getting cardio all throughout. We'll get it with power. We'll get it with agility. We'll get it with endurance. We're even getting it with strength, guys. All right. <sighs> Catch your breath. You know what's coming. We love a good power, clean, and press. So here's what it looks like. Clean, squat, press. There's your power, drop it down. Clean, squat, press. If that's not right for you, you can just do curl, squat, and press. 40 seconds, here we go. Clean, squat, press. Get that power. You can also do curl, squat, press. You do you. Power on the clean, power out of the squat into that press. So really think, power, low, power. Generate power through the feet all the way up. Don't worry, it's not a jumping move. You can get that power. Huh. Breathe 10 seconds. Give it to me, because you got a core break coming. Huh. Yes, Woo, last one. Ha. Boom, catch your breath. Woo. All right team, classic core move, breathe into it. We're gonna get our windmill. You can go high, you can go low. We are going to get 30 seconds each side. So here's your low windmill, turn that toe out. Take it here and here. It is another little version of a hinge. If you're able to take it high, pop it up, you're here. I want you to be nice and steady. You're not letting that arm go out, so whatever is best for you. We got 30 seconds, then we got 30 seconds. All right, so right side, left side, low or high, pop it up. Here we go. Either way, it's very slow and controlled. So what we love about the windmills, we get mobility too, right? Do you feel that stretch? It's kind of like that triangle stretch from yoga, but we're also getting that shoulder mobility all the way up top, and we're getting a lot of obliques, right? Even if you just can go halfway, that's great. Three, two, one, relax, woo! All right, same thing other side. You can go low, you can go high. We got 30 seconds for core and mobility. Here we go. Bring it up, slow and controlled. Here. Told you it's raining today in LA. It actually feels a whole lot hotter, hotter as we get a little humidity, which we normally don't have. Whew. Oh, so lucky to live here, but I really miss having a real fall. I'll tell you that much. Yes, hello from Virginia. I'm from Virginia, love it. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, so we've got some agility here. Now I want you to watch me. We're gonna go over this kettle. No, we got some core, Never mind. Forget that, we'll come back to that. No, that was core, what's wrong with me? All right, woo, it's Saturday. So with or without your kettlebell. I don't want anybody to feel unstable, so if this does not feel right for you, you can just step back and do this move here. But we're going up, 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 up. So tapping over, tapping over. If you wanna try it with the kettlebell, but I do not want anybody to break an ankle, so totally fine. Hup, 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 hup. The idea is quick feet, quick change in direction. That's what we get with agility. Let's get it done, three, two, one, 40 seconds, up, hup, hup, hup. So you can have that kettlebell there, but move back, and you get just a little bit of an idea of where you should be. Low impact is, of course, you're still getting the movement. You're here, whoo, you're here, hut. Yes, team, agility, also cardio, right? 
Also mobility, because we're getting those hip flexors. 10 seconds. Not landing hard, really keeping it soft. Balls of the feet, three, two, one. Catch your breath. All right, last one, team, then we get a breather. Mobility, ha! Ah, we love it, right? Woo! All right, how about we inchworm it out? We inchworm it back so we get that core. If that's not right for you, you wanna keep it up top, you can just do the hinge, walk it out a little bit, walk it back. If you can, take it all the way out. Here we go, 40 seconds. Inchworm, feel that core kicking in. Walk it back, all the way up. Take your time. Inchworm, whoo, breathe, feel it. Walk it back, all the way up. Take your time with it and try not to pull from here, right? Really keep that core engaged as we walk it out, as we walk it in. Mobility, walk it back, and up. 10 seconds, Woo. and breathe, walk it back, and up. Everybody grab some water. Alyssa, the rain is throwing me off. That is right, it sure is, I'm telling you. We don't know what to do when there's rain. Here in LA, people don't know how to drive. Woo. All right, so. How about, before we get to that next round, look at that, we are halfway through this workout. How about before we get to the next round, we get a little kettlebell swing. Go ahead and grab a heavy kettlebell if you got it, or a heavy dumbbell. We are going to take it with a deadlift first. So zip up that core, shoulders back, feet slightly wider than shoulder width, slight bend in the knees, hinge it here, bring it up. Watch me from the side so it's not a squat, it's a hinge. Back is flat, pull those shoulders back. We call it packing the shoulders as if they're being pulled in right through here. Hinge, slight bend, bring it up. So start with that deadlift. I want everybody to get a short little set of that. So we also get that hinge pattern, which we get in the deadlift. Let's get one more and breathe and up. Yes, team. All right, so now let's get it done with a swing. If you wanna just keep that deadlift, keep that deadlift. If you wanna get the swing, power it up. Roll those shoulders back, core engage, swing it, shoulders back, prep it, three, two, one. 30 seconds, power, let it drop. Hey, Isabel in Quebec, I love it. Kentucky, France, everybody. Drive it up, lock it out, push your feet into the ground, all the way through those feet, power, up, let it drop, up. Let it drop, zip up that core, power, then you're stopping it at the top. You are not lifting with your arms. Remember, three, two, one, and relax. Stretch it right here, pedal those feet. All right, team, quick sip of water. Why not, because we're going into this next round. Woo! All right, so, getting it done. Swing is also all of it, right? We're getting strength, endurance, power, core, agility, and mobility. That's what we love about a swing. All right, team. So here is what we got. We're gonna take it to a reverse lunge and a curtsy lunge. We're gonna have the kettlebell on one side. We're gonna get both sides 40 seconds. Reverse and curtsy. Let's get it done right here. So reverse, Whew. step it over, yes. Take it back, cross it over. Now remember, you can keep this a small range of motion if you just wanna tap it back. Still keep a slight bend in that front leg. If you're able to get low, I love it, but you do you. If you keep that front leg doing the work, drive through it, you don't have to get as low. Although I prefer it because the lower we get, right, the more of those glutes and hamstrings we recruit. Yes, and breathe. We got five seconds. Can we get one more all the way through? I think so. Down and down, shake it out. 20 seconds to breathe. We're gonna get the same thing other side. Yes, you can. Let's get it done. Whew. Shoulders back, core zipped. Stepping it back, reverse and curtsy. Three, two, one. Drop it down, cross it over into that hip. So notice my hips and shoulders are staying square. 
So you decide on that cross. We're not turning our body. Whew, right through here. Keep that foot close. You actually don't have to cross over very far to feel it. Just keep it going. Halfway there. And breathe. Yes. Down. Whew. And back. And back. Yes, team. Can we get one more? Keep those shoulders pulled back. Three, two, one. Yes. All right, keep that kettlebell in the front. We got another strength round. Flat back row. So zip up that core. We're just alternating here. Keep it here, here. I like to sometimes have my hand go out because that keeps me with that flat back. It's up to you. If you need to come up out of it, come up out of it. Otherwise, here we go. Row, switch. If you can set that kettlebell all the way down, that makes sure we get low pulling from the ground. It's going to increase that range of motion. We're just gonna keep that back working harder, right? You probably can feel the back of those legs working. That's what we want. If you need a breather, come up out of it. Take it here. Flat. Whoo! Yes. Team. And breathe. And breathe. We got five. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax. Oh, legs. I know. I'm feeling it. All right, team. Muscle endurance. Cardio endurance this is your endurance round. So here's what we got. We're going to curtsy, lunge, and row. Take out the regular, just cross and row. Center, cross and row. We're going 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. If one of those is not right for you, just do the row or just do the lunge. 30 and 30, let's get it done. In three, two, drop it low right here. Down and row, center. Down and row, center. So you're here, down, row, take it up. Down, so you're staying low the whole time. It's almost as if you're in that hinge the entire time. Chest here, but flat back. If you need that opposite arm for help, take it here. Breathe, and up. Burn, I know, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Boom, right? Let's get it done. <laughs> All right, team. Here we go. Other side. 30 seconds. Cross it over. Drop the chest. Row. Back to here. Stay hinge. Let's get it done. In three, two, one. Feel that endurance. Cross it over and row. Cross it over. Row. Low. As you get tired, really check in with that back. Make sure you're not rounding here. Stay flat. Even though chest is low, back is flat, right? Keep it moving. Whoo, balance, right? That's that core kicking in. We got five, four, three, two, one. Ha! Ah. Shake it out. Shake it out. Whoo, right? Ha! Ah. Little stretches right through here. How about some power? I know, team. Woo! All right. What do we got for power? You know what we got? We got either a high pull or a snatch. Now, I'm going to go a little lighter. It's up to you. Here's what I'm going to show you. You're going to drop it down here. High pull is here. Pull it up. And uh, if for some reason that is not right for you, you can just alternate that row again. We want back and shoulders. If snatch is good for you, we're bringing it all the way up. That is an advanced move. Only try it if you're comfortable with it. I'm gonna go high pull because of my low ceilings here. <sighs> We've got 40 seconds, high pull or snatch. Here we go. Power it up, let it drop. Switch it up. Power it up, let it drop. So if you notice, this whole set, is getting back and shoulders. We're getting that hinge, we're getting that lunge position. Double duty, keep it going. So here, drop it down. Here, again, if that's not right for you, you just take it row, that works too. 
If you can, get the power. High pull. And down. Hup. And down. Breathe. Yes. Five seconds. Woo. Breathe. Sarah, I'm sorry you're on the injured list. Relax. Catch your breath. Hopefully you feel better soon. I'm gonna grab some water after that. Look at that clock ticking down. All right, team. That's what we love about these long sets. They're long, right? But they go by fast. All right, down on your back. Woo. Let's take it. A little bit of core. We're gonna take it here. Woo. Breathe. We're going to drop the legs. You can either go one at a time, scissors, or you can tap the toes. But we're gonna do a close grip press to get that upper body push, chest, and shoulders as well. So start here, press and down, then add those taps or add the leg lower. Join me here in three, two, one. Up. Slow and controlled, right? Here to here. Yes, ha, Shh. again, if you feel like you're arching your back, tilt that pelvis forward and take it to those toe taps. There we go, right there. You're still gonna feel that deep core. You're still gonna feel that pelvic floor. You're still gonna feel it all the way through that entire core unit. And remember, it needs to work together as a unit. That's why we gotta keep it slow. Triceps, chest, shoulders, and core, all in your core round. Yes, five, four, three, two, one. Ha, shake it out. All right, team, keeping with our agility, we're gonna come to a bear plank, get a little stretch right through here. So we're gonna be here, out, out, in, in, pop it back, out, out, in, in, pop it in. If that is not right for you, you can walk it out from the plank or you can take it in the standing position. But if we can, let's get some bonus core. Why not? Bear plank out, out, in, in. Regular plank out, out, in, in. Three, two, one, here we go. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Hup. Left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left. Hup. Now, why are we not just jumping, right? Yes, we're jumping on the way back, but we really want those quick feet because agility is the move, is the ability to move quickly, to move effectively, to move with power, to get out of the way of things. So we wanna keep that going. So we want the quick feet, not just to jump, even though in theory, that might give us a little more cardio. Huh, last one, huh, stretch it back. We wanted it to be quick, 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 right? That's what agility is. Athletes need it as they're getting out of the way of things but also to be able to change direction fast. <sighs> All right, guess what? World's greatest stretch, why not? We just got that lunge motion in the beginning. Let's take it here, reach it up, step it in. You can go from the plank or you can go from standing. I'll start standing, then I'll go to the plank. Let's get 40 seconds. If you'd rather just keep it up top, stretch it over here, keep it up top. Here we go, three, two, one. Take it down, reach that hand down, reach up, step it in, step it in, all the way up. Take it down, slow and controlled. This is mobility, I promise. You're still gonna get your heart rate up. Step it up or step it back. Here, reach. You can keep that plank going or drop the knee, get a little extra hip flexor stretch, right? Down, we are so close to being done with this workout team. Look at that. Here, here, and breathe. Ha, last one right here. Yes, and relax. All right, let's get another swing. Why not? It's a kettlebell workout. We love it. Look how many things we got in just two rounds. Woo, okay. So back to that swing. Do a couple warm up deadlifts if you need to keep the deadlift, if you need to, otherwise, Prep it up, prep it, power it up, and drop it. Power move, core, endurance, strength, everything that we need, shoulders back, stay with the deadlift if you want, or prep it, three, two, one. Drive it up with power, then let it drop. You're stopping it at the top with power, but you are not controlling it on the way down. So you almost want that kettlebell to hang in the air, 
for a split second, a little extra second at the top. Power, let it drop. Power, let it drop. Hup, hup. Core engaged. Zip it up. As you lock out with the glutes and hamstrings and push into those feet, you're also locking out with the core and the upper back. Three, two, one. Swing and relax. Ha, ah, pedal right here, team. Yes, ha, ah, woo! I need a towel, don't have one. Here we go. <laughs> Why do I never have towels in my gym space? All right, team, you know what? I think, I'm gonna get a tissue. I think we have just enough time for a bonus move. What do you think? I think so. All right, here's what we got. Medium to heavy kettlebell. Woo. Let's go right here. So, plie, halo, plie, halo. Then you can either cross knee here from a standing position or pop it back, cross four, three, two, one. Bring it up clean. Plie halo, plie halo, and then either standing cross or mountain climber cross. Yes, yes, let's get it done right here. One minute in three, two, one. Plie, up run and halo. Plie, other side standing or climber, four, Three, two, you can step it. Pop it up, clean it up. Yes. Plie, halo. Woo, careful. Ah. That was my fault. I got caught in my hair. <laughs> Let's keep it here. Four, three, two, one. Keep it here. Now I'm gonna hold on to it. So take your time. I was just, the irony is I was just telling you to take your time on this halo and it got caught in my ponytail. Four, three, two, one. Pop it in. Huh. 15 seconds. Whew. And here. Last one right here. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Yes, team. Whoo. Shake it out. Grab some water. Let's get a quick little cool down. Let that heart rate come down. Whew, really pulled my ponytail on that. <laughs> Ponytails are a little bit of a hazard with that halo. All right, team. So, whoo, shake it out. Let's get a little stretch right through here. Take those arms up, gently pull to that side. You can pull with that top arm and then let yourself drop laterally to get that stretch. Breathe into that. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you feel like an athlete because you are an athlete and we are halfway through Athlete 2.0. Thank you, VCNS Barcelona. Thank you, thank you. Ah, welcome, Barcelona. Here we go. Reach those arms to the front, chin to the chest. So in case you missed it in the beginning, the BodyFit Athletic Club, you can join us at any time and we just move platforms. So if you don't have a Facebook account or you don't like Facebook, guess what? We have our own platform on our website now and in a few weeks we will have an app, the Body Fit by Amy app that goes right along with that. Let's take the knees out right here. We'd love for you to join us. You can check out the information in the description or also in on bodyfitbyamy.com. Click on the athletic club page. You can get all of that info there. Would love to have you join us. It's been exciting so far to be in our own dedicated space. Within that, with the Body Fit by Amy app, we will have tons of other things coming out with that. So I will tell you about those as we go. But a great way to make sure that you stay in the loop is make sure you subscribe to this video and make sure that you follow me on social media at Body Fit by Amy. Also, that mailing list where you get your free weekly and monthly workout calendars, make sure you're on that so you always know what is coming up into that hamstring. Yes, Lisa loves the VAC and loves the new platform. I'm so glad. Thank you, Ankatur. Thank you, Massimo from Istanbul. Istanbul, excellent. Whew. If you can, get a little quad stretch right here. So, so many fun things happening here at Body Fit by Amy. Also, we will have a new studio 
sometime soon. Um, quick question for you guys. Oh yes, and we have lots of apparel. Is that what you're talking about? No, what? Oh yes, I got a question for you guys. Put it in the chat after we stretch. Kurt and I need a couple's Halloween costume. Every year we do a family costume. I'm gonna share some on my social later today and ask you guys this, this question on social media as well. But we are taking all suggestions for a Halloween costume, something we can pull together in a week because next Saturday's live, we're gonna do it early this year, is our Halloween boo camp. You're gonna love it if you've never done it. I'm gonna dress up. I encourage you to dress up and send me pictures or tag me on social media. I have so many fun things planned. We have a Halloween themed workout. So join us for that. And please tell me what Kurt and I should dress up for as Halloween. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your kettlebell full body athlete workout. Great job, everybody. Woo, let's see real quick. We have a couple minutes. Colleen doing body fit by Amy workouts every day since boxing day. Excellent. Couple days I had to take a stretch break, no big deal, or had no internet, had to create my own workouts, 25 pounds down, Colleen, that is amazing. And the best part, feeling amazing. I love that, I'm so proud of you, Colleen. Thank you, thank you. I love hearing your success stories. And as I've always told you guys, totally fine to have weight loss goals or body recomposition goals. I love that, I love when you hit those goals. But the best part for me is when you say that you're feeling good, when you say that you learn to enjoy working out, that you feel strong, that you feel healthy, that you feel energized. So amazing, that is the goal. And that you're consistent. Look at that, working out every single day. It doesn't have to be every day, but they, you can keep up the pattern. That is my favorite result. Thank you, Paula. Hopefully the rain stops for the bumping patch. Yes, Chelsea loves boot camp. I do have fun names for the moves, so get excited. Let's see, if you do, Tiffany says, if you do cardio after strength training, does it burn off too much muscle? No, so here's the thing. You can get, as you can tell in a workout like this and in most of my workouts, you can get cardio and strength together. That's what I'm always telling you. I wrote a blog on it a couple weeks ago in your newsletter. Do you really need dedicated cardio? I know we've been told for many, many years that we need a lot of extra cardio. You can get it in in this style of training where we're moving quickly, we're doing intervals, we're doing circuits. As you can tell, you're getting your heart rate up and then I mix in very specific cardio moves as well. If you do extra cardio after, as long as you are hydrated and properly fueled, that will not happen. And as long as you hydrate and properly fuel after. When we see burning off muscle, it's usually when we're too restrictive with calories, when we're severely calorie cutting um, and our bodies don't have the fuel in their system to get the energy from, then they're eating through muscle, which is protein, right? So when you're undernourished, you're not eating enough or you're not hydrating enough, that is when that happens. It's not really about the timing of your workouts, but if you are feeling like you're doing a little too much or you're not having energy for that cardio, that's a sign to listen to your body that you probably need to eat something or do cardio on a different day. Um, if you follow our calendars, you know we have one cardio specific day, day two on Tuesday, um, but all of our strength training days and actually even our active recovery um, involves cardio as well. So you're getting it in. You got it in if you did this workout. So don't feel like you have to do a lot more. Mariah won't be able to make the live next week. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, that's all right. Send me a picture of you in a costume and that sweet little baby in a costume too. Carmela has lost 10,000 3% body fat since joining the Body Fit Ethical Love Club. Carmela, you are such an amazing part of the club. I love having you there. Thank you, Mel in Washington. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. So Kurt just wrote in the chat. Um, if you were in the BAC, you should get a welcome email inviting you to the new platform. You can always email us info at bodyfitbyamy.com. If you haven't gotten it, check your spam. It should come from that email address. Um, thank you, Charlotte. I'm so glad that you made it. Jessica, uh, let's see. Uh, Tiffany, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. All right, so, oh, oh, that's a Jessica. That is a, um, oh, a Reno 911. Thank you. Uh, I was like, what's that? Oh, I did ask for Halloween costumes. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm going to put um, a chat box where you can, uh, a question box where I would love to get all of your suggestions. Again, every other year we do a family costume and this year the kids have decided amongst themselves, I guess we've reached that age, that they wanna do what they wanna do. So I'm sad about it, but I'm accepting it because I'm still gonna make Kurt match with me in some way. So um, I'll share some of our past Halloween costumes too. Uh, all right, team, if anybody has any other suggestions, let me know. I'll put it on my social media as well. And make sure you join me. We will do the big reveal 
next Saturday during the live. I'll be in costume. I will probably make Kurt and the kids come on camera. You guys never really get to see Kurt. Sometimes the athletic club does, but but um, so that will be the big reveal. Real quick, Charlotte has a question about the side lunges and squats. I find the kettlebell hits the ground before I'm as low as I want to be. What should I do? Bend my arms, it feels really off. Oh, you know what, Charlotte, that could be that I know Charlotte is tall. I know this because she's in the Body Fit Athletic Club. Um, so you probably have longer limbs. So I would say you could do all of it in that racked position. The idea for that is that you get that break and obviously anytime we get that clean, right, we get that upper body movement and mobility and strength. So I would say probably what's happening for you, Charlotte, is you have longer arms, so it's hitting closer than, for me, I have to really get as low as I can about here, and then um, it's touching the ground. So I would say you could bend your arms, you could bring it out in front a little bit if that feels okay, but my best advice would be, if it's comfortable for you, to keep it in that uh, goblet squat position, so that way you can get a little lower. I love that, Charlotte, though, because you've got such good mobility. I know you've worked really hard at it. So keep it here. The other option would be to do the opposite here, and then you could take it down. You probably have the same issue here, but you actually could set it down. That's another option. You can actually set it down, get lower, pick it back up. So you could switch it, though. You could do the clean into the side lunge, have it low for the squat. But Great question, thank you, Charlotte. Great job on your mobility. All right, team, Flintstones, great idea. Pee Wee and Dottie, I love it. All right, team, happy weekend, everybody. I'm off to the rainy pumpkin patch. I'll probably post my pic some pictures on my social later today, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you so much for joining me. Join me next week for Halloween boot camp, reveal of costumes, wear your costumes. We're gonna have a great time and keep rocking out with Athlete 2.0. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you.